one of the first hurdles you're gonna need to master is how to climb usually so usually once you get that under your belt you feel very accomplished so today we're going to talk about different types of climbs and how to execute a climb okay so first things first we're going to talk about the parts of the body that are going to come in contact with the pole ready okay so the tops of the foot both sides inside squishy part of the knee right behind the bone both sides then of course the hands and we're going to talk about the forearms today so first things arm placement you want to have your arms up high and then your natural tendency is going to want to be to bring your shoulders up to your ears but you don't want to do that you want to pull your shoulders down and away from your ears down and away think about bringing them towards your hip bones but also you want to think about squeezing your shoulder blades together or having them come in together. So it's not just a downward action, it's a down together action. So arms are up high, you're going to bring your shoulders down and together. When I turn, you can see how it affects my chest. It actually lifts my chest. And at the same time, I'm imagining I'm driving the pole into the ground as hard as I can. Come onto your toes. And as a drill, you can just see if you can give yourself a little lift while you're in this position. You don't need to move your feet off the ground, but just try it out. Next thing we're going to practice is the knee hold. So you want to walk your feet in close to the pole. Find that soft spot in your knees. You're going to take a bend, come down to like a squat kind of position. You don't have to go down super low. Hold it for a few seconds. Squeeze those knees together at the same spot. It feels really awkward and it's going to kind of hurt. And then you're going to come back up. So you're going to stand up with your legs. To practice that, move away from the pole. Just take a bend in the knees, stand up with your legs. So when you do this on the pole, you don't want to use your arms to pull yourself up. You want to use your legs. Let's try it again from another angle. I'm going to bring my arms up high, walk my feet in, find the soft spot in the knees, squeeze, hold it for a few seconds, come back up. Next, let's talk about the foot placement when we do this in the air. So right climbing foot brace, right foot is going to come across the pole, but I'm going to keep my knee and the rest of my leg on that same side. Then my other leg is going to cross in front at the ankle we're crossing take that bend squeeze at the knees in the same spot hold it hold it hold it then come back up it feels really weird uncross your legs let's try it from another angle okay that right foot you don't want to bring it in front you want to bring it behind remember that okay make sure you find a soft spot in the knee other leg is going to cross in front Bend, find that soft spot, hold it. This is how you're going to be in the air. Come back up, release the feet. All right, so now we're going to talk about this foot hold. So you're going to bring your foot opposite side of the pole, knee, soft spot is going to push into the pole. You've got two pressure points on the pole. Bring that leg up as high as you can get it. Arms are up high, remember, drop the shoulder, and then try to pick up the standing leg. Sounds easy, but it's really not. A lot of things happening. We're driving the pole into the ground. The foot is flexed and it's pushing against the pole. Soft spine of the knee is pushing against the pole. Make sure to try both sides. Try to lift that standing leg. Keep all those pressure points activated. Okay, so now we're going to go for this standard climb. So remember, opposite arm to leg. So if you're in your right climbing foot brace, your left hand is up high. Left climbing foot brace, right arm is up high. So we're going to start in the right climbing foot brace. So my left hand is on top. Right foot comes up. Foot is flexed. Picking up the standing leg. Squeezing at the knees. Hands are stacked. I'm going to come back down. Don't jump down. Once you've got the first level mastered, add one to it. But for that, there's going to be a second when your body weight is hanging from your arms. But when you reset your hands, you're going to pull your knees up. You're going to come into your double knee brace, straighten your legs, and come down. So one more time. Arms are going to come up high. You're going to go for your regular climb. But then you're going to reset your hands up high again. So reset. Abdominal crunch, knees up. 
push back into the double knee brace, squeeze the knees, stand up with your legs, stack the hands, come down. Good job. Next up, let's talk about this forearm climb. So the forearm climb, you have one arm bent, one arm straight. So the bottom arm, your forearm is going to press into the pole, while your top arm, your straight arm, is going to pull the pole down. So this push-pull action is going to help you. You're going to bring your knees to the pole, same climb in foot brace, and the arms are going to switch, feet are going to stay the same. Come back down. One more time from another angle, forearm is pushing, top arm is pulling. And if you want, you can do one foot at a time. You don't have to do both like I did. Stack your hands, come down. Here I'm just changing my pole from static to spin. It's an older model, so I have to use this key. All right, so now we're all set for spin pole. And with spin pole, just remember you don't need to use a lot of force because you're going to move fast. Also, the outside leg is going to hook in front of the pole, not behind. So your outside arm is going to be low. It's going to reach low. And your outside leg is going to hook in front of the pole. Gentle push. And then when you climb, like your forearm climb, you can switch hands as you come up. Feet are staying in the same position. If you lean away, you can slow down if you ever find yourself moving too fast. Because if you pull into the pole, you're going to spin really fast. So just remember that little tip. And also, when you're climbing on a spin pole, you can make lots of pretty shapes beforehand. That's really nice. And then when you climb up, you can do things to emphasize your body, like undulations or playing with your arms. You can make it look elegant or however you want. Hang out here in a little inner thigh sit. These are just some things you can play with when you're just starting to climb. And then here, I'm just going to do a little baby cast off and come down. Remember, don't jump down. You can really injure yourself like that. And just one more time, a review of the climb on the spin pole. And, you know, don't jump down. You can always just do something fun. Just play around. You'll be fine. But don't jump. Another little flirty leg position, and you're all set. Try it out. For those of you taking classes, let me know if that was helpful. If you're not taking classes, some places you can practice um, on the train when no one's around, getting on an empty stop or whatever, and just practice when nobody's around. When people are around, and you don't care, whatever. Um, Germs though, so wipe that pole down with maybe some sanitizer wipes because and wipe your hands afterward. Also, um playground, you know, you're just climbing. I'm not saying you gotta do anything fresh, just climbing, you can practice there. I'm trying to think of other places where you can find poles. But if you're not taking a class, those are some other places you can practice. Um, if you want to learn about other things that you can practice, if you don't have a pole, let me know. If there's some other things you want to learn, let me know. Anything else you want to add, drop it down. Find my socials. I'll see you for the next one. Bye.